Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Android University. My name is Hobart, and today we're going to talk about launchers. Now, most people don't know what a launcher is, but it's pretty easy to understand. It's pretty much a home screen replacement app. Now, Android 2.3 Gingerbread, not a bad operating system, but the launcher sucks, just to be blunt. Uh, there's a lot of jittering when you go back and forth between screens. It lags, it slows down, and I'm sure you're aware of this. So, the answer is to get a new launcher. Pretty easy, just go to the Google Play Store, type in launcher, and that's where you're going to get all the different launchers that are out there today. Everything from a launcher that will make your phone like an iPhone, a launcher that will make your phone look like Windows 7, which is right here. Uh, you don't have to get a new phone. All you have to do is download the launcher, and now your phone home screens will look like a Windows phone. It's pretty easy. A lot of them are really customizable. My favorite is going to be Launcher Pro. Now, when you download it, your home screens will still be, will be blank, so you'll have to redo that part. But other than that, this baby is ready to go. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, no lag whatsoever. Boom, boom, boom. It is quick. And one other really cool feature that's not going to be on your stock launcher is this. You can actually put applications down here on the bottom of your screen to save room on your home pages or if you have too many applications and they won't fit you can put them down here it's pretty easy all you have to do click on here you're gonna change shortcut you're gonna go to applications and find an application let's put the browser there we we'll use the default icon and there it is if you want to remove it change shortcut blank and you're done so that's a pretty cool option that you can't do on your stock launcher right now Let's go into some of the preferences and things that you can change and customize. You've got general settings here, which has a few options in it. Home screen settings is pretty useful. You can change how many home screens you have, which one is your default screen. Home screen looping, so once you get to the edge of one side, it'll actually loop back to the home screen that's totally on the other side, if that makes sense. Uh, you can change the transition effect. You can change how many columns and how many rows that you have. Uh, the behavior settings. What does your home key do? Appearance settings. Hide the notification bar. I like this one here. Disable wallpaper scrolling. I like to do that. Um, and then this one here is pretty important because this is going to help you speed things up a little bit. Uh, you got elastic scrolling, high quality scrolling. The minimum scrolling speed is set at 50. I put it at 100, so it is fast. So you'll be able to scroll up and down with no jittering and no problems. Opening speed, these are both for the drawer and for your screen previews. I set both of these at 10 as well, and that makes it really, really fast. If you see I go into my app drawer, look how quick that is. It's like instant. So that's what a launcher is. It's a home screen replacement app. It makes things much quicker, much smoother, and you can customize them exactly how you want. Uh, you can go to the Google Play Store. Most of them are free. Type in Launcher and give a few of them a try. Of course, my pick would be Launcher Pro. Well, if you like my videos, make sure you give me a nice thumbs up. It really does help. I appreciate it. Make sure you spread the word on Android University and check back in constantly because I'm always doing new application reviews, new videos, news, all that kind of stuff when it comes to Android. Thanks for hanging with me today. My name is Hobart. It's Android University. Have a great day.